So we're continuing our photo journey. Do you like that? I love that. <laughs> We've got uh, Kim's photos from uh, her slides and negatives. A lot of them you have not seen for like 20 years. That's right. So right now, when you take a, a digital photo, how do you share it? Um, I would email it or put it up on Facebook. So those are uh, both great ways to share it. I want to show you another one that I really like, and it's called Flickr. Okay. Have, you, have you tried Flickr before? Um, no, I haven't tried it. I've heard of it, and I've seen of other people's photos on there. Cool. So mm -hmm. Flickr is uh, actually interesting. Uh, it was started by a, a Vancouver, Canada-based company. It was bought by Yahoo a few years ago. But literally, there are billions and billions of photos uploaded to mm -hmm. the site. And what I like about it is that it's super easy to use. And I find it a little more versatile when it comes to uploading groups of photos as well. So we've set up an account already. We're going to go to Upload now. Okay. Kind of similar to Facebook and a lot of the other ones out there. Okay. Choose photos and videos. So the free account on Flickr allows you to upload up to 100 100 megabytes of photos uh, a month. Okay. But if you upgrade to the pro version, this is kind of cool. For 25 bucks a year, you can upload unlimited. So you know what I use it for? That's I use it great. to back up all my photos. So it's not that's just stuck idea. on my laptop or mm -hmm. my desktop computer. Good idea. So we're going to go to libraries. I know that's where we've put some of the pictures. And we're going to select some of them. We're going to select uh, nice. Deception Pass and Hannah and Chip. Okay. And this is important. We can set the privacy level. Okay. So we can open it up to everyone. But since they're family photos, you probably don't want to do that. No. So this is nice. You select private, and then you can say visible to friends or family or both. Awesome. And you know nice. what? If, if you do this, you can always change it later. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit upload photos. And uh, right now, it's starting to upload them off of our laptop up to the Flickr site. Once they're up there, it's kind of like what they call the cloud. Okay. And yeah. once they're up there, you can access them from any internet connected computer or device, you know, okay. like an iPhone or a lot of these other set top boxes now as well. Oh, nice. Which is kind of cool. So once they're uploaded, they go into what's called your photo stream and see, there they oh, are. There they are. And uh, another nice thing is that you can tag the photos. I'm just going to click on this one. This is beautiful. Right here on the right hand side, we can add a tag. And this is a okay. great way to keep them organized. So, for example, if you have a trip to Greece mm -hmm. or maybe the kids, uh, summer barbecue, you can tag them so it's easier to put them in groups and find them later. Oh, okay. So here we'll just write uh, summer vacation. And from that point forward, that'll actually be embedded invisibly into the photo so that you can, can find it easier. Oh, okay. If that makes, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we've got the photos in and we've tagged a few. What we want to do now is uh, share them, right? Because you nice. want your, uh, your family to see them. Yeah, absolutely. And, and your friends. So you can go to the contacts. And this is kind of cool because you can find other friends that are on uh, Flickr and okay. start adding them so that you can see their photos. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you can invite them or invite others to see your photos as well. Nice. And it's as simple as hitting the invite button. We type in their email address, their name, and then whether this person is a friend or family or both. Okay. And once you do that, uh, you send out this little invitation. It does it automatically mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. And that way, anytime you upload new photos, they'll get a little notice and they can go check it out. Nice. That's basically it. I mean, you obviously want to go in and explore it some more, but it's pretty simple to get up and, and sharing them. Yes, it's very easy. So uh, hopefully we've solved your problem. We've got your negatives and your slides out of the dusty old box. Yes. We've retouched them and uh, got them into the computer. And now you can share them. Awesome. Thank let's, you. Let's see what else we can do. We can okay. even create some calendars here. I'll show you. Wow.